Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another real time edit video. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to make a quick mention for the last uh, two or three videos I put out. Uh, I was trying some different recording software and all looked good with color uh, on my end until I uploaded it to YouTube. So the color was a bit desaturated on all of those and lacking a little contrast um, on those last few videos. So I think it was a cerulean warbler, a blue wing warbler and the Eastern towhee. So I apologize for the color being off there. Um, it's just too time consuming for me to redo those videos again. And I thought that what I showed still kind of held true with them. So anyway, uh, I'm back to my old recording software, which, uh, is not quite as efficient on the computer, but, um, at least it keeps the color good and that's kind of important. So anyway, here we go. I got something a little different today with this, uh, spoonbill dropping in into they were collecting nesting material and this one hilariously already had a branch and was flying in with it uh, which was really funny it actually came from another nearby spot um, I wish I didn't cut the bill on this one but you know I'm tracking a bird in flight so can't really control that composition so I'm just gonna kinda leave the composition where it's at because I think if I come up any more on this bird it's just gonna look even more weird as, as far as where it's cut so yeah, I think the composition is just going to stay where it's at here. I'm um, just going to punch it up a little bit. Shadows up, blacks down for contrast. I'm going to shift the white balance a little bit. It was, I mean, it was some warm morning sun, but it looked a little too yellow there. I wanted to try and just clean up the color. And then I'm just going to darken this whole bottom half a little bit. And I think that'll about do it here in Lightroom. The rest of what I'll do will happen in Photoshop. And that's going to consist of just trying to probably further burn down the bottom just a little bit, de-emphasize that, and then clean up the dark area at the top left. So let's get started with that. So a little bit more burn on these rocks here. Um, I don't want to go too heavy because then it won't make sense visually. And then this whole left side, well actually all of the water back here and everything, I'm just going to lighten that up a little bit. Uh, this bird's doing a hilarious yoga pose down there with its wing. So there we go. We'll kind of even that out. I think this whole dark band across the top could lighten even more. So just see if I can kind of fade that out a little bit. And then I'm just going to give a shot of contrast right on the bird, the main, oops, the main bird itself there. I don't want to, I don't feel like getting all exact on it. Um, and I don't think I need to. I'm going to drop the blacks on this, however, because I feel like especially these feet could just use that. And then a little bit in the bill in there and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to clone out this one. Just stick right there. I don't know why that's grabbing my attention and bugging me for some reason. Meanwhile, everything else really doesn't. And then lastly, I think I'm just going to add a little bit more blue to the water in the background there. And so, let's see, I'm going to do a color range selection, let's see if I can get just most of that water selected back there without having the wings too selected on the bird. And uh, I'm basically just worried about right around the bird here. So I'll just drop that in. That looks pretty good. There we go. And then we'll paint that in right around the bird here. Let's put some of that blue in there. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that's working quite nicely. And then we'll just go across the top. That's going to end up adding more blue on the top of the bird, which I don't want. But I will manually fix that. And I'll manually fix that. Oh, wait. I can use some of that selection for around this bird, too, as well. And then I'm just going to deselect and then paint in this blue everywhere else here. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting pretty close there. Clean up this side, go back to a soft brush, just paint it in down here. Doesn't need to be exact, just close enough should do the trick. And then let me get rid of it off the top of this bird, which was already getting too blue to begin with. And in fact, I'm going to desaturate some of that blue off the back of the bird there. Since they don't really have blue on them. So something like that seems pretty good. I also don't like how I think, yeah, I think I made it a little bit too blue along the wings here. Like what you're seeing through those feathers is just a little bit much. So I'm just going to soften that up some because I think some of that got selected in with that selection I did. 
and then that should be pretty good. Let me look at the mask, see if there's any areas that need particularly to be cleaned up. And again, it's just a subtle blue shift, so it's not like I need to be 100% precise and accurate here on what I'm painting in. But obviously, if I can just view it real quick like this and just clean it up subtly, that's a good thing. Also realizing I painted in a lot more blue on that bird. So we'll get rid of that there and then get rid of some of that blue on that layer. And now, yeah, I just overall, I think the, the main landing bird here can just be kind of just a little bit more brightness and emphasis brought into this area of the body and head there. And then I think we're good to go on this one. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. Definitely cleans it up. I went a little bit too blue, so I'm just going to drop that to like 70% opacity. That seems better. Nice. All right. Let me get that saved. While that's saving, just a reminder, head on over to rayhennessy.com, and you can just go to the workshops menu here to see all the different workshops I offer. If you want to learn a little bit more about what I do with these videos, these real-time edits, uh, head on over to the online workshop section. Uh, we can do an online remote session where I can teach you that. I have an online Lightroom course shows you everything I know about Lightroom. Photoshop course hopefully coming this coming winter when I actually have some downtime right now in June. I am crazy busy. Uh, and then I also have the mentorships available. So this should be saved and back in Lightroom by now. So let's get a quick peek at before and after. Pretty good change there. You can definitely see how kind of dull and almost, I wouldn't say lifeless, but just overall dull and, you know, not ideal color the, uh, the original was straight out of camera, but with a little bit of processing, brings it up to right there, and then you got this beautiful shot at the end. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.